Since lately I've been teaching myself a little bit about animation, several folks have asked me about Clip Studio and have I tried any of the animation features in there? Till a couple weeks ago the answer was no, but today I'm gonna walk you through some of the basics and things that I've learned over the last couple weeks. So here on my screen you see I have Clip Studio Paint open. I'm using it on a Mac, however it is available as well on Windows and on the iPad. In fact, the iPad version just came out a couple months ago. It's nearly identical. Also, as a side note, the price of the iPad app was like $12 a month or something like that. It may have been a little more, a little bit less. It was very expensive, but now they've just reduced that. It's now $25 a year, which is far more reasonable of a price. I use Adobe Animate for the animations I've been doing right here on this channel. But several people asked me, hey, have you tried out the animation stuff in Clip Studio. So that's what I wanted to do today as I wanted to walk through it. Now I am using the standard version of Clip Studio. I think it's called Clip Studio Pro. There's also Clip Studio Paint EX, which is a, a higher end version, has more features. And in that version, you can make much longer animations. I think I'm stuck to like 24 frames or something like that in, in this version, but that's okay. For the sake of demonstrating and testing it out, this is gonna work just fine. So you can see here on the screen, I have different options, whether I'm doing an illustration or a comic or something else. The last one here is animation. And of course, if you're setting up your animation, you can you can kind of fiddle around with everything. You can actually change the size of your animation. I'm cool with the uh, 720p, just for the sake of experimenting here. Also, you can set your frame rate. 24 frames a second usually is what I'm used to drawing in. And with that, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, and it's going to uh, create my canvas here that I'm going to be drawing on. Now, I already have my timeline open down below, but if you don't, you can go to Window and scroll down here to Timeline and open yours up. Now, one of the cool things about drawing or animating here in Clip Studio is that you have everything that Clip Studio has available to you. You can use that here to draw. So I'm going to start out. I'm just going to sketch a little guy, get, get a little head going on here, draw, some, draw me some eyes, maybe get a little nose in there. Actually, I did that nose wrong. I probably should keep this simple. In fact, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of like my normal guiding shapes. There we go. Now down below in the timeline, just like most animation programs, I can go to a certain frame and I can go to one of these icons, which is uh, create a new animation cell. And you can see it just broke in there and it created a new cell. I'm gonna just simply make this head nod up and down. How, how do I do that? I can no longer see my head. Well, it's really easy. I can uh, come in here and go to my onion skin, which is this little icon down here. Gonna click that on. You see it's blue now. Blue means that it's, it's behind you in my my animation so I, I can actually just come in here and draw my little head and trace it let me get his eyes nose and mouth in here and I already have a, a very simple animation in fact if I shorten this animation down to just four frames and hit play you can see I just have a really shaky head like he's about to sneeze Maybe what I want him to do instead is slowly look up. So I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to get rid of the eyes, nose, and the mouth. So maybe the head shape is about the same. But I, I can go in here frame by frame and slowly move the eyes and nose up. Maybe I keep the mouth where it is. going to redraw the mouth. It's going to get really shaky. But that's okay. This is just a demo. I'm going to come in here. Create another frame, do the same thing again, draw my head. This is going to take a minute, so I'm just going to forward through this part. Okay, I have all this drawn in. I have no idea what's about to happen, but let me click play. Let's see. Okay, he's looking up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Yeah, so that's how you would do a frame-by-frame -frame animation. Now, it did take me a couple minutes to actually just blast through that fast-forward part and draw this frame-by-frame. -frame. That's really time-consuming. Is there any way to duplicate what you already have in the previous frame and use that? Absolutely, yes, there is. So, so let's walk through that really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Nah, I do not need to save that. And I'm going to go to File, New. We're just going to use the same animation file setup as we had before. So maybe this time what I want to do is I, I want to have, you know, his body and he's looking this way. Maybe that's his head. And then I want the head to swoosh around this way and look this way. But when I do that frame by frame animation, I'm not a good enough animator, drawer, illustrator to actually get the lines perfect. If I wanted to, it would actually take me a really long time and a lot of drawing. Well, let me undo all these lines here. All right, to start out, let's, let's, uh, 
let's just rough in his body. And then let me draw his head. I don't like that. I'm gonna draw it way over here instead. I don't like that, that's even worse. There we go. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to expand my timeline out as far as it'll let me, which is 24 frames. Gonna expand this, this part out and I'm going to expand my background as well if I could do it with this uh, stylus. There we go. So the halfway point is my 12 frame marker. So I'm gonna put my stylus right there then I'm going to go up and I'm going to go ahead and create my second frame there. And then I'm going to go to the end, let's say my 23rd, and I'm going to go up and I'm going to create a frame there. And then what I can do once I get the roughs in place is I can fill out the animations in between those two points. Let's look over here on the right hand side at our layer palette. Can I expand that? I can. So what you see is we have a one, a two, and a three. What those numbers are, what they represent, is it's basically created a layer for every new frame I have here in my animation. When I click on one, obviously it takes me to frame one. I haven't drawn anything in two or three yet, but what I want to do is I want to take frame one, I want to duplicate it, and then I want to flip it. And since you can do that in Clip Studio when you're drawing, you could do that in Clip Studio when you're animating. So the first thing I'm going to do is on my layer palette, I am going to go to number one. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go up here to duplicate layer. So you can see it has duplicated it and it has called it layer 1A. Let's go back over to our timeline where it says two. I'm going to put my cursor there and I'm going to look at my options right here along the top. There's one with a little chain by it. And if I hover over it, you can see that it says specify cells. Let's click that and you'll see what it does. What this lets me do is it lets me pull in any cell that I want and designate it for this cell. So I click on 1A, which is the duplicated cell I just created. I get to click on OK and there's 1A. Now I can grab my selection tool. I can select that. I can go to edit. I can go to transform and I can say uh, flip horizontal. Voila, I, ha I have flipped that. I'm going to unselect that. I don't need that anymore. I'm also going to turn on my onion skinning so I can see the previous frame. I want, I want the body itself to stay kind of stationary. So I'm just going to er, come over here and I'm going to line that up this way. Now, if I, if I wanted to, I don't have to call this 1A. I could call this uh, head facing right. And I could go down to layer one and I could call this head facing left. And there we go. You can see that in the timeline, it, it's listed pretty well. So if I go to the end, where I want this to end is where it starts, which is head facing left. So I can go here, I can click on that. And I said, yep, I want that to be head facing left. I'm going to click OK. So it's going to end in the same position where it began. I'm going to grab my pencil here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to draw a nose with the eyes. I'm going to go to head facing right. I'm going to draw my nose. I'm going to draw my eyes. Go back to frame one here. Now there's this idea in animation called anticipation. Since I'm going to have the head snapping this way really, really fast, maybe before I do that for a frame or two, I have it nod forward and down. That way it's kind of goes forward and then snaps back. And then on the other side, it's gonna nod forward and snap back. I'm gonna fast forward through the next couple steps because basically all I'm gonna be doing from here on out is I'm gonna be duplicating layers and then assigning them to frames. Maybe tweaking it a little bit here and there, drawing some of the in-betweens, doing some of the stuff that I did before. Now that I have all of that done and all of that set up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and I'm gonna check out how it looks. Hey, that looks pretty good. At this point, I'm just resisting the urge to go in and continue to tweak. I think this pretty much covers what I wanted to cover for this video at least. Some of you might be wondering, would this possibly replace Adobe Animate for some of the videos that I'm doing? Probably not. Adobe Animate has a lot of tweening functions that I do and things like that that this doesn't have. Also, the big thing is audio. I can't import an audio file and use that for the audio cues that I usually use in my videos. Adobe Animate does that really well. Another question that I know I'm gonna get because I've gotten it before is, am I gonna do a video like this for Adobe Animate where I talk about my process? Yes, I will be doing that. I don't know when, probably sometime in the next couple months. Part of the reason why is I've only made a couple animated videos. I'm very new to this and I'm figuring this out as I go. I am so far from professional at this stuff right now. And I'm learning the software and I'm learning how to tell a story and I'm learning how to like just draw and animate. So yes, eventually I will do that, but I'm waiting to get a little better at it and figure out how to package it better. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. That way other people can find it. That's all I've got for this week. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below and I will see you guys later.